It is my singular honor and privilege today to speak to you all at this occasion where we have gathered to witness the handover of a Mapalo milling plant built by World Vision to the Zambia Correctional Service. In 2016, World Vision working with the government partners, youths and the community of Mpika facilitated an assessment to inform the inter intention to empower the youth of Mpika. The assessment and consultative process led to the construction and the launch of the Amapalo milling plant. The opening of these 15 metric tons, which translates to a production of approximately 500 by 25 kgs of midi meal per eight hour interval, is a milestone for the service. We have set up this facility here in Mochenga, here in Mpika. Allow me to load it through you, Deputy Commissioner General, to make sure that as we bring the men and women in uniform to work in this facility, more ownership is built by the community when you employ the community to be a part of this facility. Guest of honor, sir, today we are extremely excited to hand over this 15-ton milling plant which was funded under the Australian aid through World Vision Australia. The plant was constructed at the cost of 189,324 US dollars. May I take this opportunity to congratulate the Zambia Correctional Service for proving their ability to run this plant for this well-deserved achievement. Great pleasure to thank World Vision for the generous handover of the Amapalo milling plant to the Zambia Correctional Service. This significant contribution will help us continue our mission of providing affordable milling meal to the public. This government, your New Dawn government, in collaboration with the World Vision on this project is evidence to our shared commitment to community development and economic empowerment. The takeover of this Amapalo milling plant will harness the potential of agriculture and agribusiness, promoting a brighter future for the residents of Umpika and Uchinga province at large. I extend my deepest gratitude to the World Vision for their partnership and trust. World Vision, I know you could have decided to partner with anyone else, but you decided to partner with us through the Ministry of Home Affairs. I can assure you on behalf of His Excellency the President, the Minister of Home Affairs and the Permanent Secretary, that we will be that responsible partner that you have chosen and will motivate you to continue bringing in more such ventures to work with us. On behalf of World Vision, I would like to appeal to the youths and to the Mpika community to take advantage of the facility being handed over today by producing more maize and work in producer groups and cooperatives and supply maize to this plant.